Right, me and Dad have this thing at the moment where we sneak up on each other and poke the other one in the belly. So I'm going to go get Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. So this morning, we've got some wheat to run through the dryer. We've got some wheat in this side of the shed as well as the other. And this is some of the wheat from farm two and it's at about 16% moisture. So we just need to bring that down a little bit. So we're gonna run it through the dryer. We're also gonna have the pre-cleaner going as well, just to tidy the grain up a bit. Combine header was in the way. That's perfect, Ray. Well, Ray has got some mad skills reversing. That combine header isn't that easy to back into the shed. Right, fans are on, and we're on low flame. The burner will start to rise in temp now. In one end and out the other. Dad's gone off with the JCB, so the Sanderson it is. Ray will crack on with this. Uh, he's just done a moisture test. It's down to about 13.5% now, which is about where we want it. won't that start? Clutch, oh P no, PTO's off, horrible beat, oh, there we go, battery seemed a little bit sluggish, gotta wait for the air to build up and wait for that horrible beat to start. So, PPE for handling chemicals, coveralls, gloves, visor. are coming through.
this is an autumn herbicide going on the last 20 acres of wheat that was drilled and this is a product called Liberator. Now as I explained in a previous video when I was out spraying we weren't able to get on and do everything pre-emergence. The chemical that we were going to use uh, for the pre-emergence herbicide isn't suitable for applying post-emergence so we've had to swap the chemical for some of the wheat land and yeah that's what I'm doing now just getting the last 20 acres that was drilled sprayed with a herbicide. This combined with the Avidex, the granular uh, herbicide that you saw me apply in another video, uh, those two combined act as the first step in controlling black grass. It sort of creates a chemical barrier on the soil so when black grass and other weeds pop through they get control. So where I am on this side of the ditch, can't really see my tram lines, so I'm gonna have to put the GPS on. If you look over there, I don't know if you can see, that's the bit I've just done now. I can see my tram lines. This bit on this side was about a day or two later being drilled. And even that day or two has made a difference. So yeah, definitely gonna need the GPS in here. Make sure that I'm gonna be spraying on the trams or the trams to be, and I'm not going all over where I shouldn't be. Trimble. Look at that. Steering itself. I want a tram line, hopefully. Yeah, there you go. Modern technology. It's good when it works. Now we've got rain. So I timed that right with the spray in. Well, Ray's got the JCB back. Dad's finished his little job. drill in from the rain and yes I know I've made a mess I heard the mic fell off when I brought it in I knew it would I need to sweep up this floor anyway so that's no problem so the plan is all 19 coulters need to be changed and adapted ready for beans this bit here we call this the boot that's where the uh, the seed comes out that one's designed for cereals so what we need to do is take that off and replace that with what we call a bean shoot and the a share coulter here needs to be changed to a bean coulter like i said there's 19 two rows so these are our clayed and drilled bits are they dad yeah they're the worn out legs but uh didn't throw them away now funny thing because they're probably a bit more life in them there's the uh Tungsten carbide. Yeah. You see, they would go and probably do a bit more, actually. Yeah, worth saving. Oh, yeah, definitely worth saving. They're expensive. So where are these bean ones? I haven't grown beans for a while. That's for all seed rape. That's it, yeah. Um, and these, I thought these were spoons for all seed rape. 
I thought you used those for beans as well. I thought there was a separate bean coal tin. Well, the only thing we can do is look at the seven, uh, look at the um, V drill, because when we sold the V drill. <laughs> <laughs> Can't poke me with that. <laughs> I'm <a> bet. <laughs> you reckon I've got a fat belly, don't you? No, you're fine. You, you look good for your age, Dad. Yeah. I just take the belly. Apart from the tooth. Apart from the belly and the missing tooth. Yeah. yeah. I'm having an implant. So I uh, just. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Gonna have a look at the. Um, the V drill parts because they as I said we still got those. Yeah, it won't be enough. But we had a full set of everything. When when the, when this drill came, it came with um, A shares and also rape spoons and boots. Yeah, I don't think it came with any bean equipment. Let's see what we have got. See if there is a, a dedicated dedicated bean spoon or something like that. Does that make sense? I don't even think about. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the deepest, darkest depths of the farm. Yeah, this is the darkest, deepest depths. Yeah. You've got to come in here. There's a the farm troll lives in here. Oh, there we go. They're, they're the bean shoots. There's, I said, it's 14 of them. 14 there. I've got another five to make up the 19. Uh, and they're the spoons. They're the same as next door, aren't they? Yeah. I said, there should be 14 of those. So I don't think you use anything other than that. So you think we use the bean shoots and then the spoons in front? I think you do. So the boots are held on with this bolt here that goes through, so pretty easy to take off. There we go. That's the boot off. Right, now to get this A share off. If you look here, there's a little button and we've got this special tool here. It goes in like that, pushes the button in to release it. I'll give this a bit of a tap with a hammer and it should just knock off. Right, there we go. Simples. Right, there we go. Ready for beans. One down, 18 to go. Um. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>